I'm working with a client to develop a learning strategy for their organization. And it's just at the early stage of the project. And one of the first things that we're doing is we're looking at what are the impacts that their organization is facing and how is that shaping how employees are working and therefore how they're learning, because we want to reflect that in our learning strategy. So I've been doing some research and I've identified a few global trends that are impacting that work and learning environment. And I thought I'd quickly share them with you. And then I'm curious what you're experiencing and how you're seeing each one play out in your work environment and the work that you do. So the first one obviously is COVID and that's so obvious that it almost feels like, why am I even mentioning it? But obviously it's a big one. And, you know, the impacts among many are that it really quickened the time that organizations had to transform digitally. And from a learning perspective, we had to pivot and move to virtual and e-learning solutions. Beyond that, um, Probably related is that there's higher employee stress and burnout, and we're having stress leaves, uh, might relate to toxic work environments, decreased productivity, things like that. Um, and from a learning perspective, I think we need to recognize that the manager relationship with employees is one of the most critical things. I think we've known that for a while, but I think it becomes more, more obvious. And so in our learning and development programs to really equip managers and leaders with the skills they need so they can keep supporting their folks. Another trend that I've seen come up is the pace of change. And again, could be related to COVID. I think probably we've had a fast pace of change anyways, and COVID was a big blip where it really acceler accelerated it. But I don't think that's going away with the pandemic. And so that can lead also to con contribute to the stress and the burnout. Um, and from a learning and development perspective, I think then we need to look at resiliency as a skill or as a capability that we want to really foster with our employees. The global skills shortage certainly is one that's on a lot of people's minds. And um, whether you call it the great resignation or the great reevaluation, re certainly different terms for it. But um, again, from a learning and development perspective, how can we look at, with all that movement, making sure that we have really solid onboarding programs for when we bring people on board, um, and just making sure that we have really robust uh, learning and development opportunities so that we can keep people and, and they can develop into new roles and have internal transfers and internal movement as opposed to needing to, to go out and look elsewhere. And then diversity, equity, and inclusion certainly is a huge one as well. And, and I think for me, what comes out there is the importance of psychological safety. And I know that Amy Edmondson has done a lot of work in this area with teams and psychological safety. And there again, from a learning perspective, I think we can really focus on creating an environment that feels psychologically safe, both in meetings, in our learning environments, um, and in our workspaces. So what's the role that learning and development can have in, in supporting that, that supportive culture? So a whole bunch of different trends there, and I'm curious which ones uh, you've been seeing in your workplaces. And if you want to comment in the, uh, in the comments, I'd love to hear your perspectives as well.